What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can render a death map from Minecraft using the replay and the shaders mod. So, what is a death map? A death map is a video or an image that contains information about the Z space of another image or video. And what does it look like? Let me just show you the shader I created for it. This is what it looks like. As you can see, everything that's far away is white and everything that's very close is black. It looks somewhat like fog. And you can do some really, really awesome effects with it using um, some external software like After Effects or different video editing software. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how you can use this with the replay mod. So I created some uh, short camera path here. Uh, this is just of me playing my first ever UHC on the Hypixel server. And I'm pretty much just killing somebody and I'm having a cape, minecon. And yeah, that's it. So first of all, what you gotta do is render the video out normally. Um, and we're going to do a second rendering, uh, rendering out the death map later. However, there's one thing you gotta note. Um, some things are not consistent when rendering multiple times with the replay mod. For example, uh, the clouds are going to be at different places, particles are going to be randomized. So uh, make sure you have clouds disabled in the Minecraft video settings and particles minimal and alter alternate blocks can actually be on. So yeah, um, this is something you have to make sure you have disabled. So let's just go ahead, render the video normally. We're going to export the uh, main video as an MP4, full HD, 60 FPS, because I can. And we're just gonna go ahead, render out the sequence and just do this uh, as usual. All right, so the first rendering is finished. And now we're going to load up the shader death map. The donor link is of course in the video description. I created the shader for the purpose to have uh, a shader that renders a death map. And now sometimes when you are in very close spaces and rendering a sequence that uh, has very uh, action happening in a very close room or something, um, you want the death map to be on a smaller scale. So what you can do is edit the final .fsh, which is inside the zip file of the shader, and you can uh, change the fourth line, which defines the clipping variable. And by default it's set to far, um, but if you want it, for example, to be only 10 blocks far, which means it's going to be white after 10 blocks, you can just change this and reload the shader. And as you can see, there's much more detail um, uh, in very close spaces. And it's going to be entirely white after 10 blocks. So yeah, um, uh, but this is just uh, dependent on uh, the situation that you are rendering. Um, now I set it to 100 blocks, which looks kind of fine for us, but uh, there's some information missing about uh, the blocks farther away. Let me just set it to something like 160, reload it, and we're going to render it with these settings. Um, all right, so because the black and white uh, color is very important, uh, because we're obviously going to use it as a, as a depth map and we want to lose as little precision about the actual color as possible through compression, we can export the depth map as a PNG sequence. So therefore we just scroll down in the encoding preset, um, keep all of the other settings the same and let us actually uh, change the output file and let's put those PNGs in a new folder because it's going to create 
a new PNG for each frame. Then we just hit render and it's going to render a death map. In the video description I linked which Forge version, Replay mod version and Shaders mod version you need to use in order for those to work together because uh, the Shaders mod is not compatible with the latest and recommended Forge version for Minecraft 1.8 so you gotta make sure you're using the right versions there. Alright, so now we got a bunch of um, lossless PNG images which are not compressed. Yes, that's smooth as butter. Awesome. So now let's go in our After Effects and see what we can actually do with this footage. So here we have the main video. We can just uh, create a new composition from that. And uh, then we will also have to uh, import multiple files and select all of the PNGs and make sure um, to check PNG sequence because otherwise it's just going to import loads of um, separate images and you don't want that. You gotta make sure that the PNG sequence has the same um, frame rate as the main footage so you gotta right click go to interpret footage and assume the frame rate to be 60 frames per second because this is what we exported uh, both files as. And now we have the PNG sequence as if it was a video. Um, we're going to jump to a point in time where there are no particles because as you can see those are not overlapping correctly. This is uh, what I meant when I said um, they are random and can't be predicted for multiple rendering passes with the replay mod. That's a slight issue. So let's just jump here where there are no particles anymore and uh, remove everything before that. Alright, so what can we do with this death map? Um, first of all, there's something pretty straightforward we can do. There's an effect that is called camera lens blur. And... When you select the death map, which is this PNG sequence, um, you can see it's blurring out everything that's in the background. We can uh, make this blur stronger, like this, and actually change the focal point. So the focus point, so let's make it at like 30 or something. So you see stuff in the foreground is blurred, and uh, the depth where everything is um, sharp is somewhere there. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So this is something you could do with a depth map. Um, however, there are some more elaborate techniques that I came up with. For example, using the linear color key. And we actually have to use the linear color key on the on the death map. We are going to uh, set the key color to white. So it's going to transfer everything that is white into transparency. And let's actually improve the matching softness a bit. And then what we can do is set the blending mode to stencil alpha and it's going to apply uh, the alpha channel of the death map, which does not contain everything that's white. Um, so the very background in the video, and we're going to have um, this applied to the main video. So you can change the matching tolerance and do something like this, like make the foreground uh, appear like that. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So we're just going to go ahead and keyframe that. For example, over the course of one second, set it to zero there. And the foreground is slowly going to appear. Let's then um, go ahead and create a new composition. We actually have one there already. Drag this in um, and then we can 
edit the background of the video because this is this is alpha. Everything where it's black is alpha. Um, so we could, for example, make the background red or something. Isn't that cool? I think that's pretty cool. Or we could, of course, uh, go ahead and overlay a different version of the background like this. We can go ahead and make this black and white. And the background is going to be black and white. It's gonna fade in like this. You see what I'm saying? I think that's pretty cool. We can add some blur to the background like this. And you can just play around with those effects. We may make the background darker using contrast. And brightness. And yeah, so this is like an artistic device that you can use. You can uh, play around with it, create anything you want. Bella, you asked what you can do with it. No, it's not useless. A def map is something pretty, pretty awesome. And so for the final step of this demonstration, let's just uh, go ahead, create a new one and add some camera focus, as I showed you earlier, because I think that's pretty cool. So again, we're going to go ahead, copy our PNG sequence, remove those effects, change back the blending mode, and use it as the source for the camera lens blur. Increase the blur a bit, maybe 30. Set the focal distance to 20. Repeat the, eight, uh, the edge pixel so it's not uh, fading to black in the corner. All right, so this is what you can make it look like. I probably added too much blur by far. Let's make it just slightly more subtle and 10 or something. And as you can see, it's sharp here and not sharp there. I think that's an awesome stylistic device. Now I'm just gonna add some uh, color correction stuff, render it out and going to show you the end result in the video. So this is how you can create a death map using the replay mod. If you need any tutorials on the replay mod itself, I'm going to link them in the video description. I'm also going to link all of the download links that you need in the video description. So go ahead, be creative and make sure to show me what you're creating using this technique. Thank you for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this video, found it useful and can make some awesome videos with it. See you next time, bye!